Hey, 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 what's going on, YouTube? It's been quite, quite some time since I've done a video. I've got a free moment here. I've got my garden finally looking in better shape than it was earlier. That's why I wasn't taking videos. And now I'm uh, feeling like I'll show what I got, see what's going on. Um, let's start off right here. Uh, in veg, we have uh, Girl Scout Cookies Platinum Cut. Beautiful plant. Very beautiful plant. Now, I'm just coming back from a, a major white fly infestation. They really hit me hard. Um, I lost four mother plants. Luckily, I cut clones of all of them. Uh, well, almost all of them. And trying to retain it. Um, this one right here is my new one. Let me see. Where's my label on it? I think I had a label on it. Shit. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> the label's missing. This is DNA Genetics Stacked Kush. This thing is stacked. We're talking tight node structure. I've got, I've got roots hanging out the bottom of the pot. Um, I just put this in there last week. I'm um, using Roots Organic uh, um, original soil. I'm no longer using Fox Farm in anything I grow. They changed their labels and if you check out on the back it says this product contains chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and other reproductive harm. So um, I actually switched off to a uh, um, uh, Emerald Triangle Organics. It was their uh, Formula 420 soil. Um, it re works really well, um, especially for the white strain that I have, um, but others it just seemed to do okay. So I'm switching up to the uh, Roots Organics to see how that operates for me. Um, right here, it's about to be transplanted. This is, uh, this is the uh, DNA Genetics Holy Grail Kush. Uh, I had the opportunity to flower this one out. And this is the only cut I kept. I wasn't sure if it was going to do very well. It's super tight structure. Very tight. Let me see if I can focus it. There you go. And you can see kind of the damage that was left by the white flies. Um, yeah, they did some damage here, you can see. But uh, yeah, pretty much they're taken care of. I got 99% dead. It's just a constant, constant battle with these bastards, especially with my new environment. Um, I'm in a different city than I was with all my previous grows and I had no idea what to expect in the summer months And now I'm seeing that this location gets a lot of white flies in the area So it's just a lot of diligence with my plants to try and keep them clean um, This one right here in front This one is my Romulan candy Let me put it on autofocus so I don't have to mess with this anymore. There we go Autofocused Romulan candy um, Really good. I also call this dank bud it tastes like the dank butt I used to get when I was back in high school, back in like 98, 99. And paid 50 bucks an eighth for that stuff back then. Still worth it today. Um, over here I have uh, Atomic OG. This one comes from Mobile Green Alternatives over there in Riverside. Um, they don't know I got a cut of it. Uh, they delivered to one of my friends who actually in turn traded a cut to me for one of my Girl Scouts. So um, I had a chance to smoke that one. Really good herb. Um, it has more of a sativa effect than an indica, um, but the smell is what's really what really pushes it to the patients. So that's really cool. And in the back over here, the last man standing of my master bubba's. Um, this is a phenomenal 100% indica plant, and I see two white flies that just flew off of it. So I'm gonna have to get back in here and spray some more. Oh, it sucks, but uh, that's the master bubba right there. She's alive and well. I've got a total of two, four six seven plants and veg and uh that's it right now so girl scout cookies stacked kush holy grail kush what the heck is this one <clears throat> i forgot to mention it oh yeah my king louis og forgot about that one <laughs> that one really they like the white flies really love that one so i'm really gonna have to go through here and make sure that they're uh taken care of because i can't stand those little fuckers and then uh romulan candy Master Bubba and Atomic OG. So let me move on over to the to the flower area. It's in a dark phase right now. Let me just cover the camera to cover up some private info. And uh, we're gonna move along. I actually did some upgrades here. Got myself a, a window mounted AC unit covered up by panda plastic. No light comes in. No light goes out. But the air is coming in nice and cool right here. So that's cool. Um, right now I only have three in flower. Like I said, I lost four of them due to the white flies. And so I just threw them outside and trashed the shit. Um, I did take all these plants outside the other day and spray them off with the hose. 
Yes, I know it's fucking dumb, but when you got so many fucking white flies to take care of and not enough spray to cover them all, you just spray them off with a hose, dude, at an angle. Works phenomenally. It did cause some problems with the plant. A little bit of dryness down at the bottom, but everything's going to clear up. This thing just got put into flower. Um, so this one is, uh, oh yeah, see? Just starting flower tops. It does look kind of scraggly. And kind of like with the dead leaves and stuff, but hey man, I, I'd rather take some dead leaves than lose the whole fucking plant. It's just the way it is. Um, over here, this one got hit pretty hard, but I've been maintaining it, trying to keep it clean. Um, it's got so much, so much frost that it just makes it look white, so I really can't get too close in. This is Romulan candy. You know, let's see if I can try and block out some of the light. just a very very frosty plant it's about I don't know three maybe four weeks in a flower see if I can block out the light a little bit I saw a white fly just land did you see that fuck I gotta spray again but anyway that's a Romulan candy autofocus autofocus come on autofocus there we go yeah you can kind of see some of them still flying around it's such a constant battle over here in this new city. I, I can't believe it. Um, I've never experienced anything like this before in any of my grows. So it's a learning experience. And back down here, we have uh, the mother plant of the white. Um, I really love this strain. So uh, I'm not exactly sure. It came from uh, Harborside up north back when I got my Girl Scout cookies. Um, I believe it's through uh, OG Rascals, the white. <clears throat> It's what they mix their white fire OG, their white alien OG, all that stuff. It's the it's the cross. Uh, but that's it. Just got three in here, rocking and rolling. Hopefully this one fucking doesn't die and it finishes out. Real shiny leaf. Trying to keep it clean. Got a little bit of neem oil going on, um, but it really doesn't do much for the bugs. So rate, comment, subscribe. I know it's not the best looking garden out there on YouTube right now, but hey man, it's summer months. I've got a little one to take care of now. Families have changed. You know, I'm a family man now. So I do what I can in the garden and uh, still trying to share what I got with the masses. I do all roots organic soil now. <sighs> These are uh, three gallon plastic grow bags. Um, if you guys are getting the three gallon grow bags, go ahead and open one up, set it inside a five gallon bucket, and you'll notice it's roughly about the same size as a five gallon. So that's why I use them instead of the, uh, the fives. So that's that. Peace out, as always, grow your own, and uh, I've gotta kill these fucking white flies because I can't stand this shit. <laughs> Peace, grow your own. Check me out next time.